Cameron Gourmet, a tremendous show here for these two young ladies in this Diamond Division match. As uh, they open up with the ladies already in the ring, it's Molly Bell on the right, wearing the red, white, and blue. Brene in the uh, blue and green. Marty Bell, of course, is a well-traveled, experienced female wrestler in her own right. Cameron Rene made several appearances in 2018, uh, fighting uh, or competing against Selena De La who is uh, now a mainstay of Major League Wrestling and has her own stable of wrestlers uh, that she manages down there. Well, as you know, Marty Bell had her time over at Impact, also known as TNA Wrestling back in the day. Ops. Yes, and Bell. So we're working on this uh, headlock with uh, with Cameron Brene. You know, both these women definitely <coughs> have got to be in the talks about that Diamond Division Championship. That is definitely something that is in the mindset of both these women to hold. And you you got to imagine that a win here will put them right in the forefront in talks of having that championship opportunity. Well, we do know we have received word finally, 100 certain that World Class will be reinstituting the Diamond Division's championship. It, it was held by Gail Kim several years ago, but, but when she left uh, the, for the company for a while, if the title was vacated and we never got any real replacement for it. But World Class has vowed that one of the first things that will happen here at the beginning of 2019 is to crown a new Diamond Division champion. It could be one of these two women right here or could be both of them competing for it together? Who knows? Fans, this match will continue. We'll be back there with more action after these words. All right, fans, rejoining here this match. Diamond Division action, Cameron Brene and Marty Bell. And Cameron Brene certainly uh, has made herself, uh, her presence known here in this match during the break. And she's definitely dominated Marty Bell, as you can see, with maintaining control of the match right here. Backing Bell up into the corner and unleashing a devastating chop. you got to imagine that both these women are looking to make themselves in the talks, as we said earlier, for that Diamond Division Championship that is reinstated and will have a champion crown here down the line in 2019, somewhere very soon we're aware of, as you mentioned earlier. But look at Marty. She's rattling back, only to get caught with a very nice spinning heel kick. Shades of... A Hall of Famer, Booker T, from back in the day. That was a nice series of chops that Bell uh, used to fight herself out of the corner with. But now, Brene, just sheer force, pushing Bell down on the, the mat. Unable to hold her, though, there. Now, in sort of a grounded pound style. I just bang in the back of her head. That's, that's some ECW stuff, stuff right there. I mean, that's just cat fights that way. I mean, that's not just a cat <laughs> fight maneuver. That's just a, hey, I don't give a damn who you are. I'm just going to pound you into the flesh. That's, or I'm sorry, pound you into the mat. That's all that style is. Brene with a knee straight to the midsection of Bell. And Brene showing off to the crowd before she runs. Knee strike to the upper chin of Marty Bell. Snap Mason out of that corner. Strike to the back. A succession of hard strikes and kicks has kept Bell from being able to recover. And here we go with a pin attempt again. But there's still life in Marty Bell. You definitely can see that the fatigue is wearing down on Marty Bell right now as Cameron Brene just continues to stay right on top. And right now, I think Brene is looking to ring Marty's bell. <laughs> I wondered how long it would take you to get to that show. I mean, it, it, was, it didn't take me too long. It wasn't as long as Marty Bell going and celebrating Mardi Gras. No. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. He's been building this up for a long time, I know. I know you missed me. I know that you all missed listening to me. Renee with a couple of shoulder blocks into Bell in the corner. Bell, though, avoiding that schoolgirl. Pressure under, but not enough there. Renee able to kick it out. Oh! Dropkick was exploding out of Brene. He hooks the leg now and could have the match, but not quite. What a great maneuver on the power on the part of Cameron Brene. She regained her senses quick enough to realize the position Marty Bell was in and just went for a straight sit-down drop kick. You gotta give it to Cameron Brene. I am so impressed with this woman. Brene showing her frustration as she screamed at the referee. She could not believe it and that she only got the uh, two count out of that. Right now, she's just measuring right now, She's just talking about it. saying, come on. Come on, I'm ready for you. I'm going to come to you. I'll come to you. And that was what I was waiting for. 
Bell out of the way. And now Bell looks like she's ready. Well, she ducks underneath that close now, but there's a hug for all of her own. And look at Brene coming Swing back in. in. Another forearm. And a third. Marty Bell with those repeated strikes driving Brene back to the corner. Brene, you might want to come up with a different strategy right now. It's not working to your advantage. Brene's rattled on her. Oh, she's going here. She's, she's losing her tape around the wrist. Everything seems to be going wrong for Cameron Brene right now. And now Marty's got her measured up again as we see. <coughs> Catches the punch. Oh, kick to the midsection there. Down goes Brene. Took the words right out of my mouth there. And Bell. Measuring Trying to get her wrist together. Oh! Slamming the hip straight into the face. I've been meaning to talk to her about that hip attack and see if she can show me how much that really hurts. Because, I mean, it looks devastating. I got to see for myself. Up close and personal. Somehow. Right, right. For, for research purposes. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. I got to be a great journalist, and the only way I can do that is by getting in and experiencing it myself. I know you don't know what that's like, but one day, one day. Yeah, I wish that you'd transfer that over to experiencing things like a pile driver or something. Oh, beat the feet here coming from Renee. No. I'm just going to disregard that comment. Bell shoves that off. Now, Bell bringing. Brene right back to the middle of the ring, only for Brene to break it up. And now, arm locking her. Oh, look at that. Oh, and she got it. And down goes Bell. Talk about a, a Gail Kim flashback. Eat the feet. Could do it right here. Oh, no. Again, how in the world does Marty Bell get the shoulder up? Brene now looking at him with both legs. Now that's just pure frustration. <laughs> Anytime a competitor goes straight back for a cover, you know that they're getting frustrated. They can't believe that this opponent, that they thought they had finished off, couldn't stay down for the three. Right now, Brene needs to stay focused. She can't lose track of the opposition. Brene definitely in the advantageous position here. But you're right, she does need to stay on bound. She cannot lose the momentum that she's built up here as she turns Bell over for a standing neck breaker with Bell. Breaks the hold. Bell, kick to the midsection of her own. Butterfly suplex, down, face buster. And that can do it right here. And Bell hooks the leg and gets the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Marty Bell. Now with that victory, you've got to imagine that she is at the top of the list.